Sonic Adventure 2. I don't like fucking game. I love learning. I love cryptocurrency. Mining, but never the ever. Here's Professor Sam. Pickaxe goes away. All right, all right. Everyone, everyone, get ready. We got, we got. Tails gets trolled. Right on the fucking back. You're all gonna learn about Tails gets trolled. It's a web comic on the internet. Gets compared to Sonichu a lot, and there's 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 some truth to that, but it's really it's its own beast, and there's a lot there's a lot to go into. Um, uh, yeah, Munchie. Dick, would you like to introduce yourself at all? Whatsoever? Oh, right, right. I'm Ben Saint of Patreon.com/slash Ben Saint of the yeah! Pro of the Procrastinators Podcast, hey! and you're all my friends. How, how many views did your last one get? Like 400,000. How, how many is this going to get? Or maybe almost 500,000 on the Sonichu lecture. This one's going to get double, triple, <laughs> quadruple. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going, I'm aiming for the top, baby. Let's fucking go. Woo. Blah, blah. Everyone, blah. everyone clap for blah. me. Everyone. Yeah. Yay. Woo. Yay. All right. Done. Shut up. Um, okay, so Tails Gets Trolled is a comic, it is a Sonic the Hedgehog fan comic starring Miles Prower, a.k.a. Tails the Fox. Um, it is kind of, alright, so it is kind of like a stoner comedy, like goofy parody thing about trolls being retarded and getting, like, murdered. <laughs> uh, it's also kind of like a gruesome, gory melodrama where, like, people will stumble across ditches full of, like, the bodies of all of their loved ones and have, like, oh. and just, like, vomit for pages and pages on <laughs> end in, like, in shock and terror. Uh, yeah. And it's also kind of like a DBZ, like, Naruto shonen battle. There's, like... I think around here, like, three entire chapters are devoted to... Like, there, there are battles that go, take up entire chapters between, like, between the real power players in our story. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, it's, it combines all of these things effortlessly. Effortlessly, and makes, them, makes it more than the sum of its parts. So, um, the story begins humbly. We have, we have our beloved tales wandering around in nature, having a good time singing la 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 when out of, the, out of the darkness, these two ugly nerds come out and start trolling him. They call him gay, they call him ugly, f no friends, talentless, um, retarded. Um, and he gets really sad and he goes to his best friend, Sonic the Hedgehog, for advice. Yeah, good. Uh, so shout outs to Sonic the Hedgehog. So Sonic tells him tales the way to the way to deal with a troll is to make him your friend. You got to kill him with kindness. You got to go in there and, and be like, "Hey, quit quit trolling me. Let's be friends instead." And Shadow the Hedgehog is also there, and he's just listening, and he's reading. He's like sitting there reading something, um, and he's just like, "Hey, what are you guys talking about? You talking about trolls? Let me tell you how to deal with trolls." Fuck you, trolls. Also, I'd kill them. <laughs> also, I would literally murder them. Uh, so that they, they can't troll you if they're dead. He says that. Uh, hold on, there's, uh, there's some quotes. He's not, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. But, but Sonic's like, no, no, no. Shadow, that's stupid. No, no, no. So he takes Tails to the trolls and he's like hey guys this is my friend let's start over let's be friends but they troll sonic they call him gay <laughs> even though sonic has a girlfriend <laughs> and he's like hey i have a girlfriend he's like no well your girlfriend is a dumb ugly bitch and that's why you're gay with that fox troll a lol <laughs> and he's like shit <laughs> it didn't work i'm going I, I give up so he goes back and he's like Damn, I'm mad. I'm so mad that I'm gonna have sex with my girlfriend so I won't be so mad anymore. <laughs> Inter that, a that, actually, that actually has far-reaching implications, <laughs> the fact that he says that. It comes back, because uh, it kind of became a meme. Um, so, let me... Oh yeah, so Tails is like, hey, it didn't work. Oh, Tom. I just before before we even get too far into this, I don't know if this is not relevant or will be relevant later. Okay. How self aware is this comic? Is this like a Chris Chan like like <sighs> actually trying to be done well, or is this guy very well where he's making like drag? Uh, okay. 
I think right from the beginning, the comic was meant to be at least kind of humorous. Like there are there are clearly like jokes and like jokey bits and just silly things that happen. So it's not like it was taking it completely serious from the beginning. And as it goes on, it does start to make fun of itself. Like a lot of the memes, like okay, when when Knuckles or not Knuckles, uh, when Shadow is sitting down and he overhears the conversation, he's holding something and it looks kind of like. It originally kind of looked like he was knitting, so people drew Shadow the Hedgehog knitting a lot. And in, in later chapters, um, Shadow is literally sitting there like knitting stuff <laughs> because uh, he. So yeah, he 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 takes the piss out of his own comic, and uh, like he's aware of like the memes and the jokes, and he incorporates them. So I would say it is a lot more self-aware okay. than is this, is this Sonichu. Like oh, all right. So I'm the, just the, trying to like make a mental picture of this. It is. It's pretty much at a Chris Chan level. It is drawn in MS Paint. Oh, yes. Um, I would describe it as competent MS, semi-competent uh, MS Paint art. It's sort of competent only mostly because laser, the, the guy who makes it is called LaserBot. He draws the same image over and over and over and over again. Like, so much of the comic is just shot, reverse shot panels of close-ups of a character's face making, like, a totally neutral expression <laughs> with, like, a green grass and a blue sky in the background, and just like back and forth, back and forth, like pages and pages and pages of this. Uh, yeah, Munchie. None of you are doing the Tales Get Stroll art style service. The Tales Get Stroll art style is almost indescribable in the way that he constructs line art. The, I, I don't think I've seen a single semi straight line in Tales Get Stroll. No, it's all wobbly. Yeah, it's all. I think wobbly. he might draw it with a mouse. He, the wobbly shit you've ever seen. So every character looks like an ethereal mist of colors. <laughs> the, they're like you can tell that he drew them all from photo references. Yeah. And like, but he doesn't like copy paste them even when they're doing the same face over and over again. Yeah. Like he redraws them every time, but Whoa. he draws the, them the exact same every time. And like, they start to get he start like. Wiley e. Coyote comes in later, and there's lots of close-ups of Wiley e. Coyote, and his snout is like too short. Like he draws Wiley's snout too short, I think, and it just gets shorter and shorter as it goes on. Uh, it's bizarre. Also, I want to take a second to say that you can find this comic. It's on DeviantArt. Of course the it is. the Laserbot that Laserbot is the the author. Laserbot DeviantArt account is fake. It has some of the real pages, like the older pages on there, on the LaserBot Deviant account, but it is not run by LaserBot. LaserBot's real DeviantArt is Ultimate LaserBot, um, and the Tales Gets Trolled is officially collected at, uh, on DeviantArt at LL Tales Gets Trolled LL is the account where you can find it. I had to look a lot to find like the, the later pages, because they're all, they're, all, they're all messed up. Uh, his, his account got hacked at some point, uh, and oh, things got fucked up, but there, it is all there uh, to be found. Okay. Munchie. Is there anything we should know about Laserbot himself, or will that become evident, or is he just, should we just focus, on, like, like, for Christian, in Sonic 2, we were talking about Christian and Sonic 2. Is this guy important, or? There's not really that much that's, like, out there about him, other than, like, what's, like, all you can, all that I can really say about Laserbot is that he cannot write or spell <laughs> at all. <laughs> uh, he gets a little bit better as the comic goes on. Okay. This is like an example of the self-awareness. Like for the first many chapters, Sonic says like Shadow, violence is not the answer. But he doesn't say violence. He says villains is not the answer because Laserbot confuses the two words and he spells violence villains. And then like much later around here, uh, maybe maybe around here or so, um, Tails is telling Hello Kitty about the <laughs> yeah <laughs> about it, and he's like. Sonic always said villains is not the answer, and Hello Kitty's like, villains? Don't you mean violence? Lol, your friends are dumb. <laughs> and he's like, what? Oh, okay, I guess I was confused. So, um, so he kind of gets better, but he's, but like, it's, his spelling is, yeah, he, he's really, he's not that smart, I don't think, but he tells a, he tells a weirdly compelling story. Like, he tells this story with a lot of, like, enthusiasm, and I really like it for that reason, uh, Munchie. Oh, oh I, I, I was gonna say something you answered. Is this is this guy funny, a funny genius, or is he just kind of an accidental autist? I think he's kind of an accidental autist, but I do find him like genuinely funny sometimes. Like, mm. there's 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 bits in here that make me laugh, like, in the way that they were intended to. 
Did you? It seems to me like, whereas Chris Chan, if you accused him of being wrong about something, would have just doubled down on it, this guy, at the very least, can look at himself and go, oh, I did fuck up that. Uh, Let me fix it for the future. Totally. Like, he might be a big autist, but he's not... I don't... I don't feel like he's an asshole or anything, so he's all right by me. Uh, Jesse. I feel like a testament to the self-awareness of it is that what you're describing sounds like it can be enjoyed having removed the artist from the art, whereas yeah. Chris Jam's comics, you need the lore of Chris Jam. Yeah, appreciate. There's, there's, I don't think there's really that much lore about Laserbot out there. Like, Laserbot is just the weirdo that made Tales Gets Trolled, and there's not that much more to say about him. Um, yeah. So chapter one uh, tales is called Tales Gets Trolled. Uh, oh, so Tails goes to Shadow, and Shadow's like, well, Tails, I told you Sonic's method wouldn't work. Um, here, let's go do it my way. So they go to the trolls, and Shadow just murders them. Shadow just, just yeah. shoots them or Goddamn. beats them to death. Or it doesn't matter. He kills them, and Knuckles comes along, and then they have to like drag the bodies outside of town. And there's a long thing where they're like, oh, now we've got to hide the bodies so Sonic won't find out that we <laughs> killed these guys. <laughs> so they drag the bodies and like bury them outside of town. And then uh, famously, Knuckles and Shadow give each other a high shovel in celebration. High shovel! High shovel, bam! Uh, yeah, so. Yeah. High shovel. Yes! Oh, oh whoa! Yeah. Woo! Yeah, Woo. yeah. Woo. yeah. yeah. high shovel. Wow. That was uh, dope as fuck. <laughs> thank, thank you. Now I know why he put it in the comments. Yeah, because it's awesome. Um, so, so they kill the trolls. Uh, Sonic <laughs> does find out. He. Mm, Oh, okay, this guy from the Trolls, who we later find out his name is Pori. He's got, like, a, a headband, and he's got, like, one evil-looking eye. Um, these are... LaserBot's original characters are all, all have this weird, like, anime aesthetic to them. They all look like shown anime characters, and they stand out... They kind of stand out in the way that, like, the original Kingdom Hearts characters stand out in comparison to the Disney characters. It's kind of... Tales Gets Trolled is sort of a weird... Dis, uh, the, Kingdom Hearts kind of experience like that. So this guy, Pori, brings these three more trolls after Shadow. Like, you killed these trolls, we're going to get you. Um, so Sonic en- teams up with him and tr- fights back. Sonic ends up going werewolf mode and, uh, and, and, ki- and kills a couple of the trolls, oh, no. even though he doesn't believe in violence. And he's like, fuck, I killed these trolls. I didn't want to. Um, well, now, I, now I'm embroiled in this, too. Yeah, Digi. Okay, so what, what's the time frame on this comic's release? Because Werewolf Mode is from Sonic Unleashed, Unleashed right? Uh, I think so. I don't yeah, know anything like about Sonic. or something like that? So. Yeah, yeah, Tales Gets Trolled started in late 2011, like October 2011, and it got, like, known around 2012. Um, yeah. And uh, the, latest, the latest pages came out, I think, in like very late 2017 so like yeah i mean i think there were long hiatuses in there but yeah yeah it uh, it kept going uh oh um i'm sorry i cannot read my own fucking writing here okay so shadow and sonic kill the trolls pori runs away um and then this guy alex this emo guy with red hair who smokes a cigarette backwards, smokes it filter first. Uh, he, he goes and trolls Silver independently. Uh, Silver is just doing his own thing. Uh, Mario and Luigi. Mario shows up during this confrontation and thinks Shadow is a troll and tries to kill him, but Shadow's like, no, I'm not the troll. Those other guys are trolls. And Mario's like, okay, I believe you. And he leaves because um, he's mad because the trolls were trolling a Goomba. Um, but there's more to it than that. Uh, best guy. I'm just curious about these trolls. Sound sometimes they sound organized. Sometimes they don't sound organized. What's the lore of the, the trolls the, exactly? The trolls. Okay, they are an organization. They have a king, and they are like, <laughs> yeah, there is a troll king, hmm. uh, and like a troll aristocracy. Or so. oh. well, it's basically just the it's basically just the troll king is in charge of everything, and also his son, uh, Trollface, is also in charge of everything. <laughs> um, but. Mostly the trolls are just these, they're just people that live in like troll colonies and cities and camps that are just kind of out there like yeah. trolling each other and trolling people and like calling each other faggots and like calling people faggots. And like, I guess the point of them is that they're like a big society that ju- of, of people that just make people feel bad about themselves. Mm. Uh, Munchie. 
I'm not going to this lecture completely blind. I have read a bit of Tales of Troll, and I should mention on this t uh, subject of Mario and Luigi. Yeah. When we first see Mario and Luigi, is like sort of like a weird preview show, like trailer for their involvement in the story. We're just at the start of chapter, I think like two, I believe. Mario and Luigi just like brutally murder a a, a <laughs> troll just before we know anything about them. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Is that in my notes here? I might. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of shit. So, so like before, I'm gonna miss shit. Yeah. A lot happens and Tails but, gets strolled. Before we even know what Mario and Luigi's deal are, we see them like stomp and completely <laughs> obliterate and troll his head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, th yeah, I think they're trolling a Goomba and they just like yeah, power yeah, stomp yeah. on him yeah. and they're like, Whoa. fuck that. Yeah. Um, I think more trolls, like, trolls go and troll some more Goombas later, and they're like, your boss is a faggot, and Bowser's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then Bowser gets involved in it later. Um, yeah, but, but we'll, we'll get to that. Okay. <laughs> Everyone in this story is really sensitive to being called a faggot, uh, Tom. Is, is is this guy, the author, like, like, did he have a bad encounter with trolls yeah, or something and this yeah. is his retribution, or is he just taking the piss? I... It seemed... Or did he have a good encounter with Tails? Yeah. <laughs> it I cannot find any reports that this guy was, like, brutally trolled or anything prior to mm. Tails gets trolled. So I don't know, like, where this vitriol... It seems like it's meant to be funny a lot of the time. Like, the trolls are deliberately ridiculous in just the way that they look and the way that they talk. So maybe it's meant to be funny. I don't know. I, I don't really know why he did this, Nate. Uh, were you implying just now that the trolling began after Tails Gets Trolled came out? Like... Uh, no. I mean, sh oh, he's okay. got, you know, I mean, people make fun of him because he made Tails Gets Trolled, but I'm not, yeah. a, I'm not aware of any, like, is, is he harassment campaigns, himself? like, with Chris Chan... Yeah. No, uh, maybe not really. Not like Chris Chan is okay. or anything. Munchie. Fucking tails get strolled, dude. Yeah, yeah. 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 Tails this, get this, what this is really this got. is the story this man decided to spend years of his life telling. Um, all right. I completely got a Okay, so Alex, the emo kid with the cigarette, uh, he's over somewhere else trolling Kirby. Uh, no, no, <laughs> and no, and tails 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 sees this and he's like fuck no. So he so goes. Alex wasn't even good, dude. So fuck he that. so he goes and he fights Alex and Alex kicks his ass. Oh my and God. and Jesus. Sonic shows up and like rescues him and takes him home. And he like this is this is my favorite scene in the entire comic. So Sonic like he finds trolls and like takes him and puts him over his shoulder and he's carrying him home and he's just like he's looking really grim. And he goes and he breaks the fourth wall and he says, Sorry, Tails, if this looks gay to the viewers. Well, he's he's not that fucked up. Yeah, like he's okay. just like beaten unconscious. Um yeah, sorry if this looks gay to the viewers. Munchie. What happened to Kirby? Uh, I think he ran away crying, like when Tails <laughs> no! showed up, like when Tails showed up to stop the troll, something like that. Um, okay, so then, yeah, uh, Bowser shows up because trolls are trolling a Goomba. Uh, Silver shows up and teams up with Sonic. Okay, okay, Mario and Luigi come back after the encounter where they thought Shadow was a troll. Mar Silver comes and joins the team. Mario and Luigi come and they bring a bunch of friends with them. They bring uh, Timo from League of Legends. They bring yeah. Bugs Bunny, the Hulk, and Rob. Oh, the robot. No. Rob is a guy who has no ears. His head is just like a thumb. Oh. He, has no, he has no ears and a neck. So the, the thing that's special about these, each of these people have a way of not, of, of not getting bothered by the trolls. Like, Timo lives in League of Legends where he gets, he or she or whatever, just gets trolled all the time, doesn't care anymore. Um, the Hulk just got really big and jacked, so the trolls don't fuck with him anymore. <laughs> that, that's the real way. Yeah, Rob thing. has no ears and cannot hear oh. when people make fun of him. And this, Rob is constantly yelling, what? <laughs> like, like, like for, the, <laughs> like, for the rest of the comic, people will be talking, and every now and then, we'll just get a panel of Rob going, what? <laughs> um, and Bugs, and Bugs Bunny is there, and Bugs is like, Hold on, hold on. Munchie. Can I please read this? Sure. Like, because, I, because I know the line. Sure, yeah, yeah. 
What I do to get rid of trolls is I just act really gay. I just act like a complete fag around them and act like a sissy. I don't like doing it, but I, but they can't be mean to me if I suck their dick. <laughs> no, no it, it's oh, it's okay. not that bad. It's like it, it's, I, I do all I do all kinds of stupid and gay shit. Yeah. I don't like doing it, but it works. They can't troll you if you're dressing in a skirt and kissing yeah. them and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah d did you? Like, what an interesting like interpretation of the way that Bugs Bunny legitimately deals with yeah. people fucking with you yeah. in the show. Like, yeah. He actually does that, and you could say that's how he deals with trolls. Yeah, you can't make fun of him because he's doing I it himself. I this story so far. Yeah. I, 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 I do too. About no, I actually it. really like it and <laughs> think that it's fucking great and, and recommend it completely. I'm sure this is going to be like an ironic thing, but I'm legitimately invested I, in this matter. I want to watch all my favorite characters murder internet trolls. Yeah. I, <laughs> like a great time. Um, no. I think even more so than Sonichu. I think this is like actually like a really compelling story that is worth reading. Um, and it's not even that long. Um, oh yeah, so anyway, these characters are assembled by Mario and Luigi with Shadow and the group of them become the Troll Slayers. S-L-A-I-Y-E-R. So it's misspelled. But they are the Troll Slayers and they, they pose for a group shot and they all get like a, a, a nickname. Like the Hulk is the big guy, or the uh, Shadow names himself the awesome, Timo is the annoying, um, um, someone else, uh, I don't know, whatever. They all get a stupid name, did you? If these guys aren't bothered by trolls, why are they going around killing trolls? Hmm. Huh. For the good of the people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because it, it's, uh, it's the right figures. thing to do. <laughs> yeah. I may, maybe they just owe Mario and Luigi a favor. Hmm. Um, okay, so they come up with a plan. Now, the Troll Slayers will spend much of the rest of the comics standing around in a field coming up with plans. Mm. They're constantly <laughs> trying to figure out, okay guys, what is, what is our plan for the trolls? <laughs> um, but, but they come up with this one pretty quick. They decide, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna lure all the trolls together so that we can kill them all at once with a thing, with an event that they could not resist. They're going to stage a fake Justin Bieber concert. Bieber. Justin B-E-V-E-R. Um, because the trolls will want to make fun of Justin Bieber, so they will all come. But also they might legitimately like him. Like, it's kind of implied that like the trolls will come to make fun of him, but also that the trolls are all gay, so they will all come because they love Justin Bieber. The trolls... Like, all the time, the trolls, before they die, like, like someone will kill a troll, and then another troll will be like, oh no, I loved him, because they're gay. <laughs> or then, like, they'll be about to kill a troll, and the troll will be like, wait, please, I suck dick really good, I'll suck your dick oh. if you don't kill me. And they're like, Pfft. yeah, because, like, the, the trolls are gay, is, like, a, just continuously asserted. Did you have a question? I just, I, I find it highly amusing that this, the, the author insists on accusing the trolls of the very things that they... Yeah. Are mad at, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, like he wants them to. He, he's like, oh, we'll hold a Justin Bieber concert because he knows that in real life trolls hate Justin Bieber, but he also wants to imply that they like him because he also thinks Justin Bieber's gay. Yeah. <laughs> and therefore, the trolls have to like him. I believe. Yeah. I believe the overarching theme is that if you fight monsters, you. Be <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The the, the a bit of a spoiler, but the trolls know that the concert is fake. Mm. And the Troll King actually says, like, I know it's fake. I read Beaver's blog. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the author just thought that his name was Beaver? I don't know. I honestly don't know if that's, like, supposed to be a parody or if he just failed. Um, he seems very much uh, uh, afraid of copyright law. Clearly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> totally. Um, okay, okay. So, the thing. The thing about this Beaver concert, um, this will become relevant later. Shadow goes to Wiley Coyote for a loan or for money is Wiley Coyote has to finance the stadium to yeah for them for them to have this fake concert to lure the trolls into which they're all going to pack it full of explosives and then detonate it <laughs> <laughs> thereby killing all the trolls yes. <laughs> okay but so the troll king knows like i said that this is a fake plan so they kidnap Daffy Duck who i guess is Bugs's roommate or something mm -hmm. um Oh, no, no, they do this with the help of, because Luigi turns out to be an informant to the trolls, oh, and, Lui no. yeah, and, and Luigi kidnaps Daffy Duck or something. Um, anyway, they, they have Daffy Duck, so Daffy Duck talks, tells them the whole plan, or something, I don't know, whatever. They have Daffy Duck, and it's, no, okay, they show up to the concert, and they have Daffy Duck as a hostage, like, you know, don't do it, or we'll, we'll kill him. Um, which is, uh, you know, obviously a problem for bugs, because it turns out... In the situation, it turns out that Bugs and Daffy are gay lovers together, 
And um, you know, you can't fucking, you can't <laughs> kill him. I love him. Um, so Luigi shows up to this situation. Mario and Luigi fight. Luigi wins and beats Mario. Um, and so it seems like this is going really badly, but Shadow is just like, well, fuck it, and just shoots Daffy through the head. And is like, well, now you don't have a hostage anymore. So now we can take back control of the situation. Uh, uh, Munchie. Uh, just going back for a second about da- uh, Daffy and Bugs are gay lovers. What is it about male homosexuality that is just so fucking funny? <laughs> Why is it just the most hilarious you thing know. in the world? It's funny to me because Bugs spent, like, Bugs introduced himself as like, yeah, I pretend to be gay to fuck with the trolls. You know, I don't like doing, but I, I just pretend to be gay and then they can't make fun of me. Like, because that groundwork is laid, yeah. it's funny to me that later on the big reveal is like, he's actually gay. It's like, well, why did you, why have you faked us out this whole time? <laughs> Um, so, anyway, Shadow killing Daffy sets Bugs off. Bugs is like, well, fuck it. He flies into a rage. He breaks the detonator that was going to detonate the explosives and kill all the trolls. Shadow previously had been like, fuck it. I'll kill you and I'll take us all down together. Like, I'm, I'll blow us all up He's with you. Mad man. Yeah, but, but Bugs breaks the detonator. Shadow is like, ah, oh, and just unloads like an entire clip into Bugs' head and turns oh, it to mush. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, um... Shadow, stop! Um, and I think it's in this chapter we get our first glimpse of the Troll King, who is just a real troll, like a bridge troll. Uh, and he tells his story, or he... he well, he, he starts to tell a story. He did not actually invent trolling. Humans invented trolling, but back in the day, in the Middle Ages, where he comes from, uh, he, it was just called being a dick. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the humans were dicks to the Troll King, and so he had to live under a bridge to get away from it. And yeah, and then he was like, well, fuck, you've, these, they've ruined my life. I'm going to do back to them what they did to me. So he started assembling, oh you know, God. trolls. The original sin is ours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we created the monster. Um, and so... Oh, meanwhile, Sonic needs to find... I, I, he needs to find uh, the troll headquarters, so he seeks out Eggman, and he's like, "Eggman, find me the troll headquarters, and I'll give you the Chaos Emerald." Oh, and, okay. and, and Eggman's like, "Oh, really? Well, okay, cool." So he does it. He finds him the troll headquarters. He's like, "Here you go, Sonic. Give me the Chaos Emerald." And Sonic is like, uh, "Well, f- just kills him, because Sonic has because Sonic what killed the, the trolls. Fuck? You know, Sonic has fallen from grace. He's a he's a killer now. Jesus so he's Christ. like, well, fuck it. I'm going I'm going all in. So he he betrays Eggman and murders him. Takes back the Chaos Emerald and goes to Troll headquarters to put a stop uh, to this madness. Okay, so Alex, the kid with the cigarette, and his like troll crew, because he's kind of got like a squad below him." Uh, they return to the troll headquarters after the whole debacle with the fake Justin Bieber concert. By the way, we're now on uh, chapter four, Deceit. The one where Luigi turns out to be a double agent was the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, so they, all right, on their way back, they get attacked by, I think it's the Chaotix, like the like Vector the Alligator yeah, and uh, yeah. SBO the Chameleon. A little the fucking bee. bumblebee and shit. I don't think Charmy the Bee is there, but Cream the Rabbit is there, and this robot called... Um, Elm, em, Emler or something, whatever. El, Elmer, whatever. Elmer it's, a, it's a robot from some Sonic game. Um, so they, they the, the party just like, the party just slaughters them all. And I think at this point, um, <laughs> all right. So the Troll King has this ability he can like shoot a, a shockwave that slows people down and stops them from moving. Mm-hmm. And Emler, the robot, has the ability to copy abilities. And Luigi is with the trolls at this point. So Emler ends up copying the, the Luigi's green fireballs and the Troll King's like slowing shockwave. Then he gets killed. And, but in the battle, I think Luigi... Luigi will later... Mm, the point, all right, just keep that in mind. Emler copies these abilities uh, before, he, before he dies. So, um, Mario, mean, God, I cannot. Okay, so that this Mario reveals to the Troll Slayers that, hey guys, actually, I am kind of a double agent too. We, del- we, me, and, me and Luigi staged our fight before as a way to convince the Trolls to let Luigi into the Trolls so that they could infiltrate the Trolls. So they're both ki- they're both against the trolls, but they both did all the shit that got the troll slayers killed, mm. and so they're like, "Well, fuck you, Mario. You're a bad guy," and um, it's true. 
So at this point, Luigi, uh, you know, he sneak attacks the Troll King, because he's, he's in his good graces now. He sneak attacks the Troll King, cuts off the Troll King's arm. The Troll King replaces his arm with one of Emler's robot arms that absorb the green fireball. So now the Troll King has Luigi's green fire power. Um, yeah, Munchie. I just want to say, because it happened so quickly, you may have missed it, but this, this like weird espionage and planning for the destruction of the Troll Empire started with Taylor just being called gay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes! Yeah. This is very I mean, quickly ch- transformed. That's all, that's all the trolls do. Like, un- <laughs> unless challenged, all they do is make fun of you and make you feel bad about yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's only if you try to fight back that like, this this like savage this savage violence will be brought against you, uh, like all the vi- what savage like the violence is initiated like against the trolls like people just go and bash the trolls heads in for being mean like the trolls before were just were just being dicks, um, okay okay, so um, yeah the troll now has a new magic arm, uh, and he also has the ability he has these powers called the words of death or the words of power. And um, I, he uses one word at this point. I think the word is cunt. He says, oh. he says cunt. Yeah. And uh, it, like, it like shuts off Luigi's brain. <laughs> <laughs> and he like falls over. Uh, and we find out later that he's defeated there. And Trollface, which is Troll King's son, uh, keeps Luigi's body as a sex toy for a while. Oh, so, he's, so he's dead. That's gay. Yeah, Trollface is an evil necro-rapist. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, and Luigi Luigi suffers that fate. Um, oh, no. Okay, okay. So meanwhile, Knuckles had told Tails, "Okay, you got to get away from this. Is really stressful. You got to go to the water park to have a good time to forget about all your troubles." I didn't know Sai was in this. <laughs> so, so so Tails is like, "Wow, that was really fun." But then he gets fucking kidnapped by some dudes what? in black robes that turn out to be. None other than Doug Funny and Skeeter Valentine. Oh, <laughs> no. We're on ta- we're on Tails gets kidnapped now, by the way. So Doug and Skeeter kidnap him and bring him to a place called it's the hideout of a people called the Defenders, who are like an anti-troll, like secret. They're like the Organization Thirteen, basically. They're, they're for fighting trolls. Um, so he so they bring him to the like leaders, and the leaders are Frogger and Leapfrog. Oh, uh, but Whoa. then they the like leapfrog educational games? Yeah, 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 that leapfrog. Oh so then they're like, okay, well, we actually have another boss above us. So go talk to the big boss, and that's Pac-Man. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so Pac-Man is like, okay, <laughs> all right, thanks for uh, Digi. Simply sublime. I just want to say how much I appreciate the fact that like it's just the older the video game, like the more head honcho the character is. Yeah. It seems like. they they're more classic. They're more yeah. classic. Um, so so Pac-Man is like, okay, Tails, get this. So the Troll King comes from this. Uh, what was the name of the city? Okay, I don't remember. Um, but the Troll King, he attacked. His first conquest was this city. Um, and they, they, he led his troll army, and they conquered the city, and they said, okay, everyone, you can follow me or leave. So half the people stayed and followed the troll king, and half of the people left. And Pac-Man was one of these people that lived in the city back in the Middle Ages. Uh, Munchie. So wait, wait, so he said you can follow me or just, like, leave? Like, you don't die. No, you can just go. What a nice guy. He's not that bad, really. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So they were like, okay, well, half of them, including Pac-Man, said, all right, well, we're leaving. So they left, and then, you know, they, they gathered their forces, and they trained, and years later, they came back to try and take the city back, but they were killed. They were defeated. The Troll King kept the city. So Pac-Man is like, well, uh, shit. I hate the Troll King. I have to destroy him at all costs. I hate the Troll Empire. I'm his mortal enemy. I spent 15 years... Uh, wandering the earth in search of the Dragon Balls. <laughs> I spent 15 years, I dredged the seas, and I searched high and low in the mountains, and then I realized the Dragon Balls aren't real, they're a myth. So, so, so I was like, okay, well, I guess I better form a secret club that'll, that'll fight the trolls. Did you? Are we talking like, like Pac-Man World 2 Pac-Man, or like classic? Is he like a circle? He's, a he's like, or? no, he's like the, an orb with like legs and like the circle eyes. He's like a GameCube. He's like a Pac-Man World. Oh, okay. He's the 3D kind of Pac-Man, and he says, "Oh, and he's like, oh, ever since that day, I can't. I say Waka all the time." 
He ends his sentences with Waka a lot. <laughs> Why? Wait, is because he Waka to the earth for so long? No, it was the sound effect Pac Man makes in the original game. It's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's wh- like, why is... I don't know. It's like when his friend dies in the battle. It's. I don't. I don't know why. Set, it's like just a verbal tick. tick. He just has a verbal That's tick now, because okay. yeah. It's probably short for something like hold the door. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, okay. So apparently. Uh, I see that Elmer Fudd is in my notes here. I forget I forget how Elmer Fudd comes into this, but he's he's here. He's with the Troll Slayers. So Silver, this is uh yeah Silver's mission. So Silver takes Elmer Fudd and Rob to sneak into the Troll headquarters. Um, and inside the headquarters, they find um, Heimerdinger from League of Legends. And Heimerdinger is there building a robot army. Um, so Alex, the cigarette guy, he pursues Silver. Uh, and Rob is like, so Rob is like the guy with no ears, like, hang on, I'll, I'll handle this. Turns out Rob is dragonborn. So, what? Whoa! Yeah, so he starts using fire breath and frost breath and, 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 you know, words of whatever, the dragons roar, I've done, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that. So he starts using that and he, like, fights them off. So Silver and Fudd are like, well, okay, shit. Um, they run away, but then the Troll King shows up. And then Silver and Fudd flee back into the city that they just fled out of because the Troll King followed them. So they go back into the city. Meanwhile, back at the Troll Slayer's headquarters, Knuckles, by the way, Knuckles is Shadow's buddy, but he's kind of retarded. He's high all the time and he has <laughs> shitty plans. I'd, ex- I'd expect nothing less from Knuckles. Yeah, Knuckles, get, Knuckles starts to get on Shadow's nerves more and more as the story goes on. So Knuckles is like, guys, I have a really great plan. Timo is a really good League of Legends player. Teemo gets, you know, team kills all the time. So why don't we just put Teemo in a cannon and fire Teemo into the troll city and just let Teemo kill everyone because she's really good. And they're like, that won't work. He's like, no, no, I promise it's gonna work. So they just load Teemo into a cannon and shoot Teemo. And then a- after it fires, Knuckles is like, Wait a minute! I don't know where the the how the troll city is. So Timo just hits a mountain and dies, <laughs> and that's the plan. He just explodes. And Timo was okay with this? Yeah. Why? Timo was like, "Yeah, it's a really cool plan. I bet it'll work really well." Did he? To, to be clear, like when characters die in this, they they stay dead, right? Timo was the one exception. Oh. Okay. Because the Kenny of the franchise. Well, yeah, death is permanent, but this. Only this time, Timo comes back later and is just like, I'm a League of Legends character. When I die, I just respawn. Even though I'm pretty sure Heimerdinger dies elsewhere and does not respawn. That's true. Just, they're all video game characters. They all respawn. Um, the yeah, it I mean, should I be. You respawn in a match in League of Legends. So yeah, uh, well, he, yeah. well, actually, no. He said he had... There's some ability in League of Legends that lets you like ignore death one time. Yeah, well, he, revive. Yeah, he had revive. And he also would have revived anyway because he respawns because he's Teemo. But mostly, okay. mostly death is permanent in this world. Um, okay, so Teemo is dead now for, for a while. Um, all right, so chapter 7. Mario versus King Troll. Mario goes to confront King Troll, and we find out Mario and Luigi's backstory. Turns out they were, um, you know, they were raised in Yoshi's Island, whatever. They were, they were orphan babies. But they went to go find their real parents, and their parents were these drugged-out, trailer-trash uh, trolls. Oh, their pa- oh no! And, and they were like, don't you love us? We're your kids. And they're like, ha you fucking noobs. Like, we would love our own kids. Get the fuck out of here. Now, excuse me while I snort this coke. Uh, <laughs> so Mar- so the, by the way, their dad's name is Cario. So, uh, Mario? so Mario is just like, mm, no, and so he just he just murders them. He just like he just picks up like a baseball bat and just like murders their parents. Like and Lu- right then and there. Yeah, right, just immediately. And Luigi's like, this doesn't feel right. And Mario's <laughs> like, I don't care. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Yes, the Troll King now figures out that he has Luigi fire. Yeah, he, the he, Troll King uses the Luigi fire against Mario in the battle. Um, he uses another word of power. This one is nigger, which I think blind. I think I think cunt, sh- like shut down Luigi's brain. Uh, nigger blind like Mario, but he manages to get away. Like he calls Yoshi, and Yoshi's flying him away. 
but then he's like, oh, not fast enough. But then he has like the flute that brings the tornado. Right, right. By the way, Mario is really powerful because he's just got a sack full of items. So he's changing suits all the time and he's got power stars that just make him invincible. So Mario is really good. Mario is one of the most powerful characters, but he's not as powerful as the Troll King. Did he not lose to Luigi previously though? That was staged. Oh, that was, that was, right. that was staged to convince the trolls that Luigi was on their side. Right. Um, <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. Okay, so that's the second word of power we've seen. I have uh, a quick question. Hey, Tom. Is Mario permanently blind now? No. Okay. His eyes, his... It was a temporary thing? Temporary like blindness. Flash like, Luigi's brain would have turned back on eventually. Like, it's like a temporary thing. Oh. Oh. It wasn't like he was instantly brained it. He was temporarily, like, brain paralyzed, and then they killed him while he was in that state. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so... All right, so Tails is at the Defender's hideout now, and Tails starts to train. They're like, we, you, oh, Pac-Man thinks that Tails is the chosen one because he had a vision that, like, someone would come and save them from the trolls or something. Save so, them from the mild criticisms that the trolls Yeah, like. save them from insults and, and whatever. So, so Tails goes from uh, Defender to Defender and, like, learns the lessons that they have to teach them. And his first stop is Woodstock from, uh, from Charlie Brown. Oh and, and Woodstock is going to teach him, uh, he, he helps his reaction time by, like, shooting spears at him or something. <laughs> um, and then he goes, um, wait, it's I'm like getting... the little bird, right? Yeah, the little the yellow, yellow bird. bird. Yeah, yeah, he's there, and he's... shooting spears exactly? he, he just has a machine that okay. shoots spears, and he's just like, here, I'm going to turn this on so it's going to shoot spears randomly at you for the rest of the day. I'm too lazy to stay here and actually watch you train, so I'm just going to go, <laughs> and I'll come back later. And then he comes back later, and he's like, good job. Now let's see what you did. And he pulls out a gun and shoots him, what? and Tails is like, whoa! And he successfully dodges. He's like, Jesus Christ, you could have hurt me with that thing. And Woodstock's like, no, it's just a BB gun. So. And Tails like, oh, okay, that's fine then. Um, <laughs> so no harm done. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, so the trolls capture... Wait, what? Oh, right, right, right. Back when Silver was sneaking into the city, they met some trolls, and Silver, like, trolled them back. They had, a, they had an impromptu troll off. Oh, this, this guy, Underbite Troll, was like, hey, you... you Fuck you. And Silver was like, yo, I'll fuck you right back. He was like, hey, man, you trolling me? Well, let's do a troll off. So Silver really impressed with his trolling ability. So um, later on, Underbite, tr Underbite Troll later gets captured by other trolls uh, for some reason. And they end up, they get murdered. But, uh, but yeah, they, they, they end up dead. But there Silver are... As well? No, no, not Silver, just the, the trolls that, the, this one guy, he, he like idolizes Silver and he like goes around telling tales of this like legendary troll that like out-trolled everyone. Uh, so Silver becomes like a troll folk hero, I guess. Um, so, but the, later on there are these side stories called Adventures of Underbite Troll, where Underbite Troll is getting ready for like a troll-off tournament where he's eventually going to have to face Trollface, that's the Troll King's son. And you know, all these other teams are like, forming alliances with them and like making truces and stuff <coughs> uh, but that one never got finished uh, so I'm not going to talk about it uh, let's see where was I okay so Elmer Fudd uh, is, is Fudd captured at this point? I'm not sure Fudd eventually gets captured um, was he even in the story? Yet? yeah he, he, was he was with Robin Silver he, went, he was part of their task force that went into um do something. <laughs> um, so, all right. So, Fudd. Oh no, no. He's still with the team, but he takes out the corpses of Bugs and Daffy. All right. And this is where things get really serious. Elmer Fudd takes. He has a bag where the corpses of Bugs and Daffy are, and he takes them out and he holds up his hands, and these fucking um, pentagrams appear on his hands, and like Whoa. these strings come out, and he animates the. He well, he eats some of Bugs's brain first, uh, and he eats uh, some of Daffy's brain, uh, and then he like animates their bodies. Whoa. Um, Holy and they're like, um, oh, by the way, Fudd is like retarded. Fudd is like a, he's like a kind of a drooling retard, oh. like most of the time. But nevertheless, <laughs> he, he animates these corpses of Bugs and Daffy. And he's like, uh, now it's duck and web it's season or something. Oh, um, Jesus yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Troll King Whoa. finds out that Eggman is dead because Sonic betrayed him and killed him. And he's like, fuck, I needed Eggman for my plans. Um, but then he, <laughs> no, 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 he's, he's got a specific goal that he needs Eggman for. So, um, Troll King is like, well, okay, 
but it turns out one of my informants has just told me that Elmer Fudd can resurrect the dead. So, okay, I need to capture Elmer Fudd, and he can resurrect Eggman so that then I can use him for my plans. Like, okay, we gotta get Fudd. <laughs> the, troll, the troll agenda depends on the, the capture and uh, sub subduction of Elmer Fudd. Um, meanwhile, uh, Tails trains against Batman in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, uh, just what, what did they need Eggman for? It's not revealed at this... T well, I'll just tell you. It turns out... Okay. So when they find out that Rob is Dragonborn, Troll King is like, a Dragonborn, hmm? There's only one person else that I know of who is Dragonborn. And then there's a flash to a... He's like a knight in armor who is like held in, a, in like a prison of ice. And he's heretofore referred to as the man in the ice. Mm. So Troll King needs geniuses... He needs, he's looking for geniuses like Heimerdinger and Eggman to, he just needs people who are really smart to figure out how can I unfreeze the man in the ice from the ice. Huh? Uh, maybe. <laughs> but, it, but it turns out, um, uh, the, the man in the ice, I think he was with the Troll King when they first took that city that, you know, started, you know, the one that Pac-Man was in. Um, so he's like an old ally of Troll King is apparently even stronger than the Troll King, uh, but, but they, they're friends and he wants to resurrect him. And he also wants to teach him the words of power. The Troll King knows the words of power, but he can't teach them, so he's, he spends a lot of the rest of the comic looking for the location of the words of power so that when he resurrects the man in the ice, they can teach him the words of power and he can be even more powerful. Best guy. And this is so they can defeat Rob. The, the, the man no, no, no. The, Rob's not that big a threat. This is, this is just in general. Oh, they just want his power. Just to they be ju able to fight they just want the man in the ice because he's strong. Okay. okay. Rob, mean, they're, they're letting their minions handle Rob. <laughs> Rob, is, Rob, is not, Rob is not like a match for the Troll King or anything like that. Um, where the fuck am I? Bud's choice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so this is chapter 8, The Neutrals. Okay, so then we have a flashback in probably Fudd's mind or something. This is, a, this is a flashback to the story of Fudd, Sylvester the Cat, Tom from Tom and Jerry, uh, Porky Pig, and Wile E. Coyote, who, if you'll remember, funded the, the fake Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber concert. Munchie. Is this where the famous seatbelt uh, panel comes into play? Yeah, I wrote that. I didn't know that was famous, but I wrote that down. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's famous, but, but I fucking know it. Yeah, um... They're all, later on, they're all just driving in a car. They're just going out to drink at a bar. And I think it's, and I think it's Sylvester is just like, did you know that even with seatbelts, people die all the time in car crashes? I thought that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. I, I, we should mention, by the way, that like, this is such a close up that like, like his entire face like takes up the entire panel. And like, you can see like the irises in his eye. And it's like, Holy right shit. up to the fucking camera. I, I don't know why he would say this. I don't know why either. Mm. It's so close to his face. He's just smiling the night. It's like, I found so, that Sylvester is like, Kind of creepy. Yeah. Sylvester's kind of creepy in this comic. Um, so yeah. So the story is, um, they're like, okay, th these friends, uh, Wiley Coyote, Sylvester, Tom, and Fudd are all friends, and they all want to go out and get hammered, um, but they need a designated driver. So they go and they ask Porky Pig, like, will you be our designated driver? And Porky Pig's like, bleh, 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 uh, no, I don't, I don't believe in drugs. And they're like. <laughs> Just, just, and Wiley Coyote's like, come on, man, just do us a solid. And finally, Porky's like, okay, I guess I will. So they go out and they get drunk, and Porky decides to drink, and he, and he, and he drink, and he drinks, you know, against what he, he didn't want to, but he's like, fuck it, I'm gonna drink anyway. So he drinks, uh, and he cheats on his wife. Whoa! Yeah. No. Uh, some girl, what? some girl, like, seduces him and fucks him in the bathroom and, like, steals his, his money, like, steals his wallet or something. Um, so he's, so he's fucked, right? Um, but anyway, so they're all drunk, and they're like rumbling around. And they, uh, Tom and Sylvester go, and they get high. And there's a long sequence of them being like, hey, man, where'd you, put the, where'd you put the keys? Like, ha, 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 I know where the keys are. Ha, 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 where are the keys, man? Ha, ha, I don't actually know. I just said that I did. Ha, 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 ha. yeah. I don't know. It's really funny. Them just like being high is really funny to me. It goes on for a while. Why but they, is this happening again? What's this is a flashback. This is a flashback. Oh, right. So, sick night that they had. So, <laughs> so while they're drunk, no, this, this is going somewhere. Okay. While they're okay. drunk, 
they cannot find the car keys or their car or something, and they go wandering around. Uh, they, they don't have a designated driver anymore because Porky drank. So they're wandering, and they wander into a satanic church. Oh, no! Where a ritual is happening. There is a fountain of blood, oh, and they, are, they wander into a circle of Satanists who are engaging in a satanic ritual to unlock some dark powers. Um, and they're just like, okay, they don't realize it's a satanic church for a while. So they, they drink the shit, and it's like, this, the, the, the high priest is this guy called Kellick. And Kellick is like, you know, anyone who's not worthy will die, anyone who is worthy will live. Uh, and a bunch of the cultists die, but all of our, these cartoon friends of ours, they all make it. And it's like, okay, well, now there's all these things you gotta do so you can keep the power so you don't fuck up. Some of them kind of fuck it up and it like shortens their life. There's all these rules. And the point is, these, now they're neutrals. They are called the neutrals. And the neutrals have to not have strong emotions. If they have strong emotions, the like conflict between good and evil inside them will like swell up and it will like damage them and shorten their life. So they have to be like emotionally like placid all the time or they get fucked up. Uh, but they have the power with these, they have, their hands can put out these necromantic strings that can animate corpses and if they eat some of the brain of the corpse they can gain their memories and then with those memories of like how their body works they can control them. So like an, so like a, a neutral can be like as powerful as he wants to be if he has like a really powerful puppet dead person, Munchie. This is so fucking unironically cool. Yeah. This is so dumb. The neutrals are, yeah, and like the neutrals, they used to be like pawns in the war between Satan and God, but then like God like stopped using them and focused on like public outreach and <laughs> Satanism stopped, fo they only focused on getting more neutrals, but then like everyone forgot about Satanism. So, so God pretty much won that war and now everyone like forgets about Satanism, but the neutrals are still there. So their neutrals are not good or evil, but everyone thinks that they're evil because only because the Satanists kept using them while the church pretty much stopped. Jesse, sounds like this no longer has anything to do with tails getting trolled. <laughs> well, no. I mean, th this part is this part is uh, just the catalyst that's, that's, to a yeah, great well, war. Well, <laughs> amazing tale. Well. Actually, actually, yeah, this whole neutrals thing is pretty, like, I don't know. It, it's pretty separate. Uh, it's kind of related. Because one of the people at the church is this guy called Damaro, who has, like, three eyes. And Damaro, I'm pretty sure that Damaro is a troll, but he does not actually care about trolling. He's just kind of in the group, but really all he cares about is getting Satan powers so that he can, like, take over the world with Satan powers. Hippo. Are there just humans that aren't trolls in this? Yes, there are. Like, not all, he most of the humans we see are trolls, but not all of them are. Actually, I forgot to mention something. Back in the Tales Gets Kidnapped, or back when we saw the Defenders, Pori, the guy who originally brought the trolls to fight Shadow after Shadow killed a few of them, he is actually not a troll. He is a troll double agent. He actually works for the Defenders uh, and is some kind of, like, Defender secret spy or something. We don't really know what Pori's deal is. Uh, let's see, where am I, where am I? Um, oh yeah, so the these dudes, they get superpowers. And Porky is like, fuck. So Porky's like, well, I, I gotta tell my girlfriend what happens. She leaves him. He's like, oh, fuck my life. He goes to the church. They're like, everything's gonna be okay. Turns out his, his wife comes back and is like, listen, I forgive you. You know, I need you. You know, we're our, our, our baby. And he's like, okay, I love you. It'll never happen again. And then... Uh, they then the the wife is like our baby and then a bullet back through the wife's head through the baby's head Porky is showered Why? in both of their blood no, because please. his church found out that he is a neutral and neutral are the spawn of ah. Satan They also go to his parents house kill his parents and cook them as bacon what? Which he finds, he finds, he finds, he finds them cooking in the house when he gets there. And so Porky is like, well, alright, dumb. Oh my god, how much, how, much, how much of Porky's life is just, like, cut off from his lifespan because he can't be reacting neutral to this. Well, Porky is just fucking catatonic at this point. So Porky, so, okay, this battle erupts, right? So these, 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 One bullet. <laughs> These, Christ, these Christians are here to kill Porky because they know he's a neutral. Um, but then, yeah? 
I just, I, on, I, this is like drawn like kind of not great. I honestly want <laughs> someone to like one punch man upgrade this. Uh, yeah. 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 Ben. So, yeah. Ben. <laughs> no. No. no, no. <laughs> I must resist. Um, so, so, uh, so, okay, so these Christians show up to kill Porky, but then these Satanists show up to be like, hey, Christians, we're Satanists and we're going to fight you. So then this, like, fucking war breaks out, this battle right in this field, and Porky is just, like, catatonic because he's like, my whole life is, is over, and I'm like, uh. So FUD's choice now is, this is FUD's choice. Uh, Porky is like, it's over. And um, they're like, Coyote is like, we got to get out of here. Um, and they're like, but what about Porky? He's not going to be okay. And he's like, we're in the middle of a war zone. We got to get out of here or we're going to get killed. And Tom is like, I'll do whatever FUD wants to do. And FUD is like, okay, let's leave. So they just leave and Porky goes and using, using his own, I think it's using his own strings, like the magic necro strings, he makes himself a noose from a tree and hangs himself oh, right was. there oh. on the battlefield. Yeah. Between right. Satan and God. So Porky, so that's, that's Fudd's choice. Porky is dead. Uh, his whole family is also dead. Uh, so that's so that's a high point. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty emotional high uh, right there. I just say Game of Thrones has nothing. Yeah. Um. 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 God, where the fuck? Oh. Um. Meanwhile, Demaro, um, the guy with three eyes, he goes and he finds. The, the satanic priest, and the satanic priest is like, hey, don't be a dick. Coyote is the best among us, because Wiley Coyote has perfect control of his emotion. He's a prodigy at this neutral thing. And Damaro's like, fuck you, I'm going to be the best. He kills the satanic priest, and he like swears, he's like, I will, I will defeat Coyote to prove that I'm the best neutral. Um, so, chapter 10. It sounds like a pretty emotionally charged uh, goal. Yeah, Damaro is, is unstable. Demaro, okay, so the thing about Damaro, Neutrals have to be emotionless or the conflict between good and evil will stir up inside them. But Damaro doesn't have to do that because Damaro is pure evil. Oh. He can be as angry as he wants to be and because there is no good at all in him, it will not like fuck with him and shorten his life. Hmm. So, so Damaro is, is unhinged uh, and all he wants to do is kill Coyote and take over the world with neutral powers. Okay, so Silver uses some technological nonsense um, to, he like scans a map of the troll headquarters uh, Troll King, Troll King has captured a, a Fud. I don't remember how. It's not important. Troll, Fud is in there. They capture him, and Troll King forces Fud to revive Eggman. So Fud eats Eggman's brain and gets his memories, thereby becoming the super genius uh, that Eggman used to be. A uh, Digi. Uh, is there any acknowledgement? Oh, hold on. Is there any acknowledgement in this comic of the fact that canonically Tails is exactly as intelligent as Eggman? Oh, shit. No. Tails is definitely n not... Okay, Heimerdinger and Robotnik are genius... Or Eggman are geniuses. Tails is definitely not a genius in this. Tails is like a totally normal guy. Um, this is like disrespect for canon. Yeah, yeah. Um, no. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, like fucking Mario murdering people on yeah. site. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So at this point, we find out that a guy who got his face, a guy who was hanging out with Troll King and Alex when they fought Luigi, and he got his face, his face was already fucked up, but it got, like, the rest of it got burned off by, by Luigi's uh, green fire. Uh, this guy's name is Gary, and he is Damaro's little brother, and he is a troll. And it turns out that Damaro had, no, Gary had wanted Damaro to tell the Troll King about his neutral powers for years, but Damaro never did. Um, and that's the thing. Um, Tails trains with Hello Kitty in the what? Defender's Tower. Yeah. She teaches him a defensive shield ability. <laughs> um, she, Tails thinks it's cool and he says, sweet like nice feet. That's, that's how he describes oh. the shielding ability. Um, the Trix Rabbit is there and he's an unhinged <laughs> psychopath. Uh, <laughs> Kermit the Frog tries to teach him patience, but Tails is like, I don't really think I need to learn patience. I'm going to skip this lesson. Uh, so that, yeah, so he, d he skips it. Spyro teaches Tails to stop flying like a faggot with his, little he his energy inefficient helicopter, and he's going to fly with his tail like wings now. He's going to fly like a badass. So Spyro the Dragon teaches Tails to fly like a Sick. cool guy. Um, this is the chapter where they acknowledge that, s that Sonic used to say villains instead of violence. Um, Troll King is off on a mission with a red bird called Travis, T-R-A-V-O-U-S. 
And they are looking, again, they're looking for the place of the words of death so that they can teach it to the man in the ice when they do finally revive him, which they should be able to soon because now they have Eggman's memories in Elmer Fudd. Digi. Uh, how many of these, like, obscure characters do you think he made up, or are they just, like, from weird games people don't know about and shit? I, uh, I mean... I think Travis, I mean, Travis is so bizarre. Travis could be from something, but to my, the best of my knowledge, he's not. I don't know, maybe, I always assume that all of the, like, the anime characters are, like, his own OCs, but I don't know. Uh, I thought he was a bird. Oh, yeah, he's a bird. I don't know. I don't know if Travis is from anything. There's actually, there's, a, there's another bird later. It's revealed that Troll King picked Travis over another bird as his, like, messenger, and this other bird was an OC from someone who, like, won a contest. Mm -hmm. There's two, like, cameo characters that were, like, put in there because the, someone won a contest. What, through, through what means was a contest run? Some kind of DeviantArt contest. It's I don't... Like, a, like, like he just posted a poll or something like that? Or... I'm not... I actually have no idea what the contest... It might have been a fan art contest or something. Mm -hmm. Can I take a rip off of your sick fucking vape? Uh, yeah, why, why not? Yeah, let's vape time. this entire thing. I, I vaped at the beginning. Actually, I, I need I need it. I'm, I'm jonesing. I'm jonesing. That was a mistake. Oh, yeah, that. That's a mistake. That was a big mistake. Is there any vaping entails gets troll? No. I don't think vaping well, there's, there's smoke and dank weed at the very least. There's lots, there's lots of smoke and dank weed. There's Alex who smokes his cigarette backwards. Do you think that the author like had ever smoked or do you think he just like hangs out with lots of stoners because i get the impression he probably hangs out like his friends are probably smoke a lot of weed i think that laserbot probably got into smoking weed like as the story went on because later on weed becomes a huge thing early on it's like a joke and everyone that like knuckles smokes weed all the time but he's retarded <laughs> yeah. later on there's a lot of smoking weed i, I just can't and help it's... but imagine that knuckles is based on a real life friend of his because like, <laughs> someone like this i imagine the only friends they had would be like massive dumbass potheads. Well, Knuckles' drug use ends up being a pretty big problem for him, as, <laughs> as we'll see, oh, no. as we'll see before too long. Uh, I've totally lost my place here. Uh, oh, by the way, the city that the Troll King co conquered and that Pac-Man was from was called Alfred. Um, I'm, oh, I'm on the wrong page. Um, okay, okay. So they are off looking for the words of death. Um, Alex, the cigarette guy, is following them. He is planning to defeat, he's planning to like kill Troll King while he's sleeping and become the new Troll King. He doesn't like the Troll King, but he's following them so that he can learn the words of death, so that he can be powerful. Um, they introduce Tails to Cheeto Man, which is what this comic insists on calling Chester Cheetah. Uh, and Cheeto Man is a big stoner. He's like, he's like an Obi-Wan Kenobi, super wise, like ultra stoner. Um, uh, and so he, he, so he's like, so he, so he's like a spirit guide. Well, we'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, the Troll Slayers, which by the way, at some point before the Troll Slayers reformed, uh, Timo came back. This might actually happen later, but it, whatever, I'll get into it now. Timo comes back after respawning and brings Pikachu and Jared Lorenzen, a football player, who is the other, <laughs> who is the other contest winner, is the oh, other OC. Okay. <laughs> Is he like? Is he famous at all? No. No, just some guy. He's an oh, he's an original character named Jared oh. Lorenzen, aka Battleship Lorenzen. So he's not a real football player. No, no, he's uh, just a he's uh, just like some some fucking guy. Battleship Lorenzen. Uh, Battleship Lorenzen. Um, uh, Bowser comes. Donkey Kong. Okay, early, in chapter one. Knuckles got high and had a threesome with Rogue the Bat and Donkey Kong. Oh gosh. And this. Whoa. Rouge? It is Rouge. Rouge the bat. Oh, okay. Yeah, Rouge. Yeah. Um, so this this actually turns out to be plot crucial later. Um, <laughs> oh no! But anyway, Donkey Kong shows up again, and he's got Chunky Kong and Tiny Kong, and they join the team. And also, some guy in like a head armor thing who is literally just I don't have a name, so just call me Guy, and he's got a sword. Mm -hmm. So this guy named Guy is there. Um, and I'm probably forgetting some, but anyway, a couple of new characters join the Troll Slayers. They pose for a team again, and now we've got the new Troll Slayers. Um, the Hulk is still there on standby, um, having a great time. Okay, so Knuckles is like, hey, Shadow, I've got a great plan. And Knuckles is like, like why, are, why are we just standing around here? I've got a great plan, but Knuckles' plans are terrible. Shadow flips out on him. Rob gets serious 
and puts on a superhero outfit. Rob is super dedicated to getting Elmer Fudd back, and nobody knows why. He's like, I swear to God, I will get Fudd back. Like, that is, that is his mission for the rest of the comic. Um, he's the earless guy, right? Yeah, he's the dragonborn. Uh, the dragonborn. Who, who never has any idea what's actually happening when he's dragonborn. He, seem, he can't hear anything, but he seems to generally know what's going on <laughs> most of the time. Good yeah. So Cheeto Man teaches tales... The Cheeto Ball, which is basically, it's like, <laughs> it's like, so, so, so it's some orange, like, magic energy, and it's like an orange energy blast, but it's the Cheeto Ball. But you have to, like, really clear your mind and get your mind, like, real clear. So, it, so Cheeto Man just smokes some dank weed and hot boxes the room and gets Tails way high. And, that, and so Tails is able to learn the Cheeto Ball uh, technique. Um, he then, um... Shadow is frustrated with the lack of progress on the part of the troll slayers because they've just been hanging out in a field for this entire time, <laughs> uh, making plans and not doing it. So Shadow flies off into the distance. By the way, Shadow turns out to be, Shadow's much older than everyone else, and he actually used to be a troll, uh, but he eventually said fuck the trolls and left them. Um, so now he's now he's an anti-troll, but he used to be a troll back in the day, and this is real. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that technically canon of Shadow? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So Shadow is a you know a former <laughs> bad guy. Um, so Shadow flies off frustrated with Knuckles and with a lack of progress, and he sees a troll sitting. He's like, "Fuck these fucking trolls, living their little troll lives, teaching their troll kids how to troll." I don't want to f- no. So he just. Mm, he fucking black Kamehameha's the whole town and nukes it right there. Wow. And then Knuckles is like, hey, Shadow, oh no, that wasn't a troll city at all. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so Knuckles just blew up a city for no reason. Knuckles or Shadow? Uh, no, uh, Shadow did. And Knuckles tells him, and he's like, hey, Sh- Shadow, you gotta fucking take it easy, man. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it's just, this won't do. You gotta take a chill pill. Um, so, yeah. Any consequences? <laughs> No. Okay. <laughs> Shadow feels bad. Mo- mo- momentarily, Shadow feels guilty. Um, Donkey Kong vs. Tiny. Okay, so Vivian from Mario, Paper Mario. That's a boy! Yeah, Vivian from Paper Mario uh, teaches Tails to use Shadow Chakra to run fast. Um, Ronald McDonald teaches, oh teaches, Cheeto, teaches him to combine the Cheeto Ball and the Shadow Chakras. He can make like flat planes of Cheeto energy behind him and then project Shadow Chakra onto them to make like Shadow Clone Jutsus, basically. Oh, okay. So, but Ronald... Yeah, so did you just get really into Naruto around this time? Yes. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's like, there's even more overt Naruto references that start to happen around here. Um, he literally mentions Naruto at one point. Um... So, but Ronald is this fucking, like, diabolical clown who, like, hates Tails and, like, resents the fact that he's the chosen one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, like... Wait, wait, when was it established that Tails was the chosen one? Pac-Man had a vision that said that Tails was the... Ch- oh, Tails is supposed to... He's supposed to be the chosen one. Pac-Man thinks that with a spirit link, or, or a soul link, or something, where you can link with a dead person... Uh, and combine your power that, like, with that, Tails can use that to defeat the Troll King. Was so, there cle- any specific person they wanted to combine with? Well, Sonic. Oh, wait, Sonic died. Oh, what did he die? What? I, I, I forgot to mention, Sonic was killed. Holy shit. Um, this does seem important. Where did this, fuck, where did this happen? I think he, he gets killed by the Troll King. Hmm. What he, a monster. Yeah, he go. I think, did I just not write this? <laughs> yeah, Sonic kills Eggman, finds the Troll Headquarters... Um, they just get killed in a big battle with like Mario, Luigi, and shit. He, Jesus, it's just not even here. Um, yeah, Sonic went to fight the Troll King and he got killed. Okay. Uh, he went supersonic and it wasn't enough and he was, was destroyed. Was, like very emotionally distraught by this. Yeah, yeah, everyone was shit. Gums, I really fucked up leaving that off of these notes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a big deal. Everyone's really sad that Sonic's dead. For yeah, it's it's a it's a big thing. Holy shit. Um, so so they're like yeah so. Tails is going to have to soul link with Sonic, but first he's got to learn all these techniques. But then he can soul link, and he'll be the chosen one, and he'll stop the trolls. And Ronald is like, well, fuck this kid. What's so, so special about this kid? I don't want to train him. He's not worth the time. He's not that great. Everyone's just stupid. Um, so Ronald kind of flips out and tries to kill him. But Cheeto Man is like, whoa, what the fuck, and stops Ronald McDonald. So he's like, all right, we're, we're, we're going. Um, we're going away. Here, come with me, kid. Um, meanwhile... 
robot face, the guy, Gary, who got his face burned off, the troll who got his face burned off by Luigi's green fire, he, who is Damaro's little brother, him and Damaro get in an argument, turns out Damaro was, they always meant to turn on each other at one point, and now they turn on each other, they have a big fight, it's really long, uh, Damaro has like these demon vines that he can conjure up, and some of them are like acidic and they can dissolve you, and, and Gary has like, his, real bo his body isn't his real body, his real body is somewhere else, and this body is an android, and they have a, they have a big long, god, what the fucking chapter even is this? He has this? some decent shonen powers, like I've never heard of those powers before. Yeah, yeah, he's just got a, and, but like the android body can like dissolve, because it's made of like micro computer bugs that oh, can like come apart on? yeah it's made of nano machines and finally Damaro has to, he has to like stretch his neutral powers to the absolute breaking point by sending out a different neutral like necro string to capture each individual like nano machine uh, and like it strains him so much that he starts like bleeding from his eyes he's like oh god it hurts so this much is, this is legitimately it's fucking awesome bad. it's way cool <laughs> um Damaro is in pain a lot of the time. Um, <laughs> that's that's like a consistent theme with it. Oh, also, uh, Gary is an earthbender. Oh. Uh, just the throw, just <laughs> he's an earthbender, and at one point he he like brings up he like punches through the ground into like a magma chamber and like makes himself armor out of magma oh. and just becomes a giant oh. magma monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, okay. This guy's I know, um, but then, okay, so Gary is about to win, but Demaro, because he's got three eyes, suddenly, it, like, everything stops, and Gary is like, whoa, where the fuck am I? And he's in this, like, white, like, city, and then his, the eye, it, like, comes out of his head, of, of Demaro's head, and it's like this big, like, serpent thing, and it goes and, like, grabs Gary and, like, absorbs his soul out of his body. And then Damaro wakes up and he's like, I don't know what the fuck just happened, but my, my brother is dead, so I guess I won the fight. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So it seems like the eye is some kind of like other entity that has like, that is like, is, shit right there. yeah, yeah. It's like some, it's like possessing him or, or it's like, it's like a parasite inside of him using him as a host or something. All right, so back to the, the troll headquarters. Elmer Fudd is now smarter than Eggman. Um, Sylvester and Tom and Coyote discuss the merits of porn as art. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damaro, Damaro wants to, he wants to, he, first he wants to kill Elmer, he wants to eat Elmer's brain, but it's only so that he can get to Coyote, but then he finds out where Coyote is, so he's like, forget about Elmer, I'm just going to Coyote, because he's the best neutral, I want to prove that I'm the best neutral. So Silver and the neutrals lure the trolls out, okay, okay, Silver meets up with the neutrals at some point, and they discuss a plan. And their plan is we're going to lure the trolls out with an explosion or something, and we're going to catch them in big cages. Luckily, Sylvester knows a guy who sells giant cages, <laughs> so they get some. And they lure them out, and S Silver uses his psychokinetic powers to like put cages in over them. And then Silver and uh, there's, a, there's a purple Sonic girl, a not Amy, Blaze. Blaze the cat. Blaze the cat. Silver and Blaze the cat just take... Silver and Blaze the Cat have like some romantic tension going on. Silver won't admit to her that, that he's in love with her or something. So Silver and Blaze take some spears and they just start like jabbing spears into the cages Jesus. to just like kill the trolls. Just, they, <laughs> oh and like God. they have some banter like like troll uh, Silver tries to flirt with Blaze and be like, hey, so how's the weather? Oh, and, and Blaze is like, did you, why'd you ask me about the weather? We're both outside in the same place. Yeah. And he's like, shit. Never mind. So, <laughs> as they're murdering all the trolls. Yeah, just yeah. as they're like. What chapter are we on right now? We're on chapter. Uh, we're in here, I think. Seems about right. I yeah. Don't, I don't want to just skip over Tales. How Gatsby. variable is the length of these chapters? Like? Not that variable. I think each chapter is like 21 pages, generally. Like some of them, like, a lot more happens than others. Or just a lot more happens. Oh, he's going for, like, legit comic -like. I forget. I, no, I think they're generally all about the same length. Um, I, think, I think he keeps a consistent page count. Okay, so, yeah, the battle between Damaro and Gary lasts through these chapters, so it's really long. Um... So Rob is on a quest to fight Elmer back. Rob goes and he fights against, Rob starts fighting against this other troll lieutenant who is always with the troll king called Hindo, who is a long white hair guy. He has electricity powers. Oh wait, that's how Elmer got kidnapped. Hindo became electricity and traveled through the power lines and he just sneak attacked Elmer Fudd and picked him up and absorbed him into his body and just like power line back to the troll headquarters. So yeah, that's what happened to Elmer Fudd and why he got captured. So now... A thing like that happens literally exactly the same way in Jojo's Jojo, 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 yeah. Jojo, yeah. Adventure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, so 
Rob, who is hell-bent on getting Fudd back, fights Hindo, and their battle goes on for a long, long time. Um, and it has... Their battle keeps devolving into these, like, parody scenes. Like, there will be, like, a, a Dragon Ball Z parody where they go, like, ah, 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 how long until I'm powered up? Ah! Um, and later on, then we get to intermission, Tails gets gay, which is just, like, everyone becomes really kawaii and has big sparkly eyes and, like, cat mouths. <laughs> and it's, like... Around here, Laserbot starts to take like big aside sections to like comment on the troll, like like his critics, right? Mm. Like people call his comic gay, so he makes intermission tales gets gay, where everything's really gay, to be like <laughs> this. This is how it would be if it was as bad as everyone says That's it is. Brilliant. And he makes this, and he makes this like shitty, uh, this like uh, power up Dragon Ball Z parody, where he's like, everyone says my comics like Dragon Ball Z. No, this is what Dragon Ball Z is like. Uh, oh my god, this uh, guy's great. Uh, what, yeah. What about Puppet Battle? Uh, I skipped Puppet Battle. Okay, uh, yeah, they have the, the Dragon Ball Z parody. Tom and Sylvester are in there. Tom and Sylvester, they're using, they're neutrals. They have, uh, they have all these, like, uh, Tom has Tweety Bird as a, as a, as a, as a puppet, and, and he's got Jerry the mouse, and, you know, the bulldog, and the granny, and uh, I think Sylvester has a, a Foghorn Leghorn, and the, the, the killer chicken from Family Guy. And oh, oh, yeah. oh, and the 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 penguins from um, Madagascar. the penguins from Madagascar. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. yeah, he's got the so he's got all these birds, and they're in there, and they're trying to be, they're trying, they're like Gimli and Legolas, trying to see who can get the most kills. <laughs> Sylvester's way better. Tom is kind of a fuck up, um, and so Tom Tom is always like, Tom's got all this emotional beef, and Sylvester's always like, Ugh, okay, whatever. Did you um, know millions of people are killed even wearing hey, seatbelts. Hey, 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 <laughs> um, <laughs> One bullet for each skull. Yeah. Oh, I'm totally on the wrong page here. Uh, sorry, I got all mixed up. Yes. Okay, so Elmer Fudd, he gets away from Hindo in the, while Rob is fighting him, and he finds Luigi's body in a morgue, and he possesses it. So now he has Luigi's body as a puppet. Um, there's a weird scene where Rob seems to get electrocuted to death, and then there's, like, long... Poetry. There's like pages and pages of like poetry set over about how he died, set over like filtered like photographs, wow. but then cut back and no, it was just a fake out, and the, the battle <laughs> continues. <laughs> um, yeah, Laserbot's pretty good sometimes. Um, so the Guardians, part one. This is Demaro and Coyote finally meet. Like all things are converging on Troll headquarters now. Mm. They're in there and they're like fuck. So Demaro and Coyote fight. And Coyote has Roadrunner as this. It turns out the reason why he helped them pay for the Justin Bieber concert is because Knuckles and Shadow helped him finally kill the Roadrunner, who he then immediately turned into his puppet. And Roadrunner is in this canon is much faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. Roadrunner is the fastest thing and is very a very powerful puppet. Um, he's also got these things called the yin yang serpents, which are these deadly snakes what? that these a white one and a black one that hide in the grass and just like come up and attack from from the grass. And also they have this ability called forest chambers, where they like spin around really fast and do like a windstorm thing on you. Yeah, Munchie. Why is this more inventive than every anime I've ever seen in my yeah. life? I, because it is every anime you've ever seen yeah. in your life jumbled together in a new <laughs> and exciting way. Um, um, this in this. In this chapter, in chapter 15, we literally see Shadow knitting as a reference to that time that it looked like he was knitting that one time. Um, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Timo com this is when Timo comes back and they have the, the, the new Troll Slayers thing. Um, Tails learns the Shadow clones from Ronald. Ronald tries to kill him. I guess I jumped ahead a bit there. Sylvester ends up, uh, I think, Trollface. Trollface shows up with a gun and is like, haha, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to fuck your dead butts. And, uh, you know, in his trolley way. And uh, Sylvester ends up diving, even though he was making fun of him a minute before, Sylvester dives in front of Tom and takes a bullet for him. Aww. And he's like, I just was hard on you because I knew you could, I saw so much potential in you. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, Tom. Um, this is, like, not related to anything we're talking about, but, like, Laserbot, how old is this guy? Is this just, like, a 30-year-old man just cranking out this... God no, I don't really know, but I get the feeling. I think he was probably like in his teens when he started it, and he's probably like in his early twenties now. Mm -hmm. these, these god, these goddamn millennials make me feel like shit. <laughs> yeah, um, but he's still he's still working on it even now. Or, do you have a question? I forgot what it was. Okay, good. <laughs> um, okay, so at this point we have our first 
cut away to no 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 sorry oh, yeah. oh we have adventures of underbite troll uh, has tails just been training like since chapter nine yeah this whole tails has just been training with the defenders um while this while all this shit is going down yeah, in troll the headquarters the, the pac-man led other pac-man and hello kitty and kermit the frog and Ar <laughs> arthur is there Ar <laughs> arthur arthur is he, like my kind of group arthur you know? is like a court wizard yeah <laughs> he like he uses he like tries to see the future later and vivian is like what do you see arthur um, uh, okay, so late. So Mario is preparing to fight Troll King again. Professor Egad makes Mario a holy star out of twenty stars combined together. Uh, he also gives him a deafness potion so that he will not be able to hear the words of power or the words of death. Yeah. Uh, Pori shows up, and Pori says, "Mario, I have something to tell you. Shadow the Hedgehog, when he was a troll, is the one that recruited your parents to become no! troll." And, Sha no, and Mario's no. like, that motherfucker, I'm going to kill Shadow too now. Like, now I have it out for Shadow. He ruined my whole life. Um, so uh, emo kid Alex is, is following Troll King as he looks for the words and is like, I'm going to depose him and become the new king. Um, okay, so Knuckles shows up and talks to the defenders. And some of the defenders are cool with Knuckles. They know him. They're like, Knuckles, why don't you join the defenders? It'd be really rad. And he's like, oh, maybe I'll think about it. So Knuckles sh shows up and with Tails and Cheeto Man, who has just saved, um, who has just saved uh, uh, Tails from being strangled by Ronald McDonald, uh, and is a solid dude. A weird sentence. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they all get high, and then Doug, and then Doug Funny shows up, and they're like, Doug, Doug's weird. We don't want him. And Cheeto's Man's like, he's all right. No, Doug can get high with us. But it turns out that it's super weird, and Doug. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not okay. It's not okay to get high with Doug. Doug gets really weird and defensive about the one time that Skeeter gave him a hand job. And it's, and it's just very... Oh, he like, he like bites Cheeto Man... No, he bites Spyro's dog. He bites Spyro's dog's ear and the dog is like scratching him and then he like throws the dog on the floor and Spyro's like, you get the fuck out of my house right now. Uh, but then Doug like, Doug like pukes and, and passes out. So they're like, uh, whatever, fuck it. Had to be a real story that actually happened to this guy. Maybe. Maybe. Cute from getting too high. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, and tails. Tails is like tails is a natural at getting high, by the way. And he's like, and he's stoned, and he's and he's just like, how do you get? How do you throw up from weed, man? Because <laughs> uh, he knows. Because he he gets it. Okay. So now it's a fucking party. So Patty. So Patty from Doug. Uh, Rouge the Bat, Jesse from Pokemon, and Candy Kong all show up to the party. Oh, and gosh. Knuckles is like, hey, I invited some STD-free bitches to this party. <laughs> yeah. uh, remember, rem rem <laughs> remember, remember that Knuckles and Rouge um, and Donkey Kong all fucked in, cha in Chapter 1. Um, um, so Amy, Amy, oh, oh Jesse. Are these bitches who are free of STDs or free bitches who have STDs? <laughs> now that's that's a great question. Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> that's a, yeah. There's only one way to find. A, a, oh, no! a, a, acutely observed. <laughs> a digi. Yeah. How much like nudity is in this comic? Like, do they not, show... No, it's not like explicit nudity. So like if. if... If characters fuck, is it always off screen, or are they shown like in uh, or something? There is like a dream sequence where you see some nipples, but I think that might be the only time. But like, there is like, it's Amy, it's it's Espio the chameleon imagining a scenario where Amy like takes her shirt off and has like huge boobs, yeah. like this big, and you see nipples in that, and then you see his dick in the next. But that's like way later, <laughs> and I think. And I think that's the only time that you see like explicit nudity in the comic, but I'm not 100% sure about that. The, you do see people fuck, but it's like tastefully hidden, like the bits, you know? It's like that. Okay. So Amy shows up, and Hello Kitty shows up, and Hello Kitty seems to kind of have a thing for Tails. Um, and, Ki and, Am and Amy is friends with Tails, and Kitty is getting jealous. So Cheeto Man... Turns out his one of his hoes, Tanya, shows up, and it turns out Cheeto Man is a pimp on the side. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's a literal pimp and like a drug dealer. And Knuckle, Knuckle, he's actually Knuckles' drug dealer. I thought you said he'd become less related. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hold your hold your horses there. Uh, yeah. So so he turns out he's he's Knuckles drug dealer. Knuckles been buying weed from Cheeto Man for years. <laughs> um, so um, and then Amy starts to tell the story of how she met Sonic. And it goes on for quite a while, but the long and short of it is that Amy was captured by Robotnik, Eggman, held as a sex slave for, oh, for weeks, Jesus. yeah, raped for, for months and months. Oh. Sonic rescued her. Um, they, like, lived together or something. Uh, they f he rescued Tails and, like, from Robotnik's lab. Mm -hmm. And I think that something that happened in Robotnik's la Eggman's lab might be the reason why he's the chosen one. Like, something special. I think he's, like, a super fast learner or something. And, like, mm -hmm. this is what's special about him that makes him able to do the soul link. Um, so Amy, you know, Amy was with Sonic for a long time after that. But Amy is, like, super emotionally damaged by all this. Like, she can't love anymore. Or, or that's what she says anyway. And she turns out that when Sonic said, I'm so mad, I'm going to go have sex with my girlfriend so I won't be so mad anymore, <laughs> he did that. And Amy was like, Sonic, I'm sick of you treating me like a sex object. I don't want to do this with you anymore. I'm leaving you. Even though he was right about to propose to her. And later we find out that Knuckles had found the ring that he was going to give to her. And it was really fucked up because he was in love with Amy the whole time. And, but he's like, oh, I'm so happy for my friend. I want them to be happy, but, but I just can't feel okay with this. Like, God, what am I, what am I gonna do? Um, so, but now Sonic is dead. So Amy is here at this party to see Tails, but Knuckles is like, Amy, I love you. And she's like, I've told you, Knuckles, I can't, I'm just gonna hurt you. Like, you know, I can't, this is a doom, just, just forget about me. He's like, no, but I don't want to. They're like, Fuck, uh, but then they decide, like, shit, well, I guess we'll just do this then. And then they fuck. Um, and it's like, well, why are they fucking? Well, there is a reason. Oh, God. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. This is, this is, this is real serious. Uh, sex slave, uh, Cheeto Man. <laughs> A Amy, Amy and Kitty. Amy and Hello Kitty are being shitty to each other. Kitty's being kind of a bitch. Uh, Amy's like, no, Knuckles, I can't love you. I can't love anyone. Um, Knuckles reveals that Cheeto Man is actually, he's more than just a pimp and a drug lord. He's like a whole cartel lord. He actually owns everyone in the Defenders. Everyone in the Defenders is actually there working for him uh, as like a pimp or, or, a, or a pusher Whoa. or like a child slave peddler or something oh like the God. tricks rabbit sells little kids into sex slavery oh, no. and the whole defenders thing is a front oh. for Cheeto man's criminal oh, empire yes Holy yes shit. Cheeto man was behind it all oh, my God. even Pac-Man I guess <laughs> I don't even know what's up with Pac-Man anymore because he had this whole backstory about a prophecy but whatever um, the whole thing's fake or most of it anyway. What? All the girls are dead because they all had the clap. Oh, no. Knuckles, Knuckles got the clap having sex with Donkey Kong and Rouge. Oh, and no. he gave it to all these other girls and invited these girls with the clap to give Cheeto Man the clap oh. and to give all his hoes the clap so that because he, run he runs an STD-free uh, prostitution service, and he kills girls that have, um, that have STDs. So he commits, Amy commits what Knuckles calls basically suicide by murder, <laughs> <laughs> where she comes, and all these girls come, and they deliberately give Cheeto Man uh, the clap. <laughs> this is the plan. And then they all get killed because Cheeto Man has no use for them. But now, you know, it's a huge blow to his criminal empire, his prostitution. Also, it turns out Hello Kitty is Cheeto Man's wife, but she, Hello Kitty hates him. So she goes and she sleeps with Tails. No! Yeah, and Tails doesn't know. Tails doesn't know he's just his wife. And Knuckles is like, Tails, did you sleep with Hello Kitty? If you did, he'll never, he'll never let you go. Because it turns out that Cheeto Man is doing all this because he wants to train Knuckles to be his apprentice or something. Uh. But he's but but once Hello Kitty fucks his wife or once he fucks his wife, it's like well, it's on. He's never gonna forgive you. We have to run. Like the, so, and Knuckles takes him to this fucking ditch where he sees all the bodies of like Amy is in there oh, and Jesse oh Jesse from Pokemon and Candy Kong and they're all dead. He killed them all because they all had the clap <laughs> and they were no use to him anymore. Um, and so he's like, well, shit. Uh, everything I thought was a lie. And this this is we're we're here. This is the storm, by the way, uh, Munchie. Wait, oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Very, very important. So does Tails have the clamp now? 
I don't think so. No, because he only, he, on, he only fucked Hello Kitty, and Hello Kitty did not have the cloud. Okay. Um, yes, um, Tom. I know you just said we're at the storm, but what, what was psychological assessment? Psychological assessment was when they all hang out with Doug and get high, and Doug bites <laughs> okay, the dog. Okay, oh, right. okay, cool. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Munchie, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we're at 20, the storm, right? Uh, yeah. So... What happened to like, think. the Troll King and like getting <laughs> trolled? They're just trying to find the words of power and shit, right? Um, yeah, the words, yeah, the Troll King is kind of off screen for all of this. And not, maybe not really that That's important. Human that was, right yeah, now. he does not seem that important right that now. That no longer matters. It's, no, all, about, it's all about Chino I don't give a shit about that. All Batman the Troll anymore. King stuff, that was Genesis. We're in Revelation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so Hello Kitty, he's like, fuck you, Hello Kitty, I'm gonna kill you for because you slept with Tails. And she's like, no, Cheeto Man, I'm pregnant. And he's oh, like, oh, he's fuck. like, I'm gonna get you a piss stick, bitch. You better be pregnant. And she's like, I hope I really am pregnant or I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's dramatic as fuck. Um, uh, oh, oh, and it turns out, it turns out Cheeto King is actually stronger than Troll King. Or Cheeto, Cheeto Man. Oh, okay. Cheeto Man is stronger than Troll King. The reason why Troll King needed the words of death was so that he would stand a chance against Cheeto Man. <laughs> <laughs> so Cheeto Man is the ult, is like possibly the ultimate antagonist do here. That, do you think that Cheetos Cheeto. is this guy's favorite snack and that's I, why this took this turn? I think this took this turn because he got really into weed and he decided that Cheeto Man would be the weed guy and so he made the weed guy into this like sage uh, uh, you, you know, mentor who would then turned out to be actually the ultimate antagonist. I think that that's okay. that's the deal here. Um, well, when you think about it, he's done a lot more evil things than the Troll King ever did. Uh, who the Cheeto King? The Cheeto, Cheeto Man is. I mean, Troll King's. If he was like in charge of like a child trafficking ring, and, yeah, like, the troll he is. King's just like you're gay. Like, the, the, there's clearly. A, the, I, mean, I mean, the Troll King has killed people, but he has killed people that have aggressed his kingdom. Right. So like, he's, a good boy. he's not. Yeah, like Cheeto Man is definitely the the greater evil here. Um, so that's the storm. Okay, I think it's kind of all downhill from here, unfortunately, oh, because what? because yeah, these are called the conclusion, I but they're not finished. Like uh, what? the conclusion part one is done. The conclusion part two went on for a while, and then it stopped in late 2017 and has been on hiatus oh, since no. then. So oh, God. and I yeah I can't, no. yeah um did no. you? Okay, so these chapters were not released as like a full chapter break, but just like page by page. They were all released page by page. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'm I'm wrapping up. Hmm. Mm. It, 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 it's two. It's two forty-five. I'm looking forward to getting out of the fucking class at three. Um. Well, yeah. I guess. I guess that we're pretty much at the end here. Let me tell you what happens in the conclusion. Um, there's a segment where the narrator breaks in and like talks about how much he loves saying the word meanwhile because all the time there'll be a, a page will end with a box that just says meanwhile and, and I guess people made fun of him for that. It's like another fourth wall breaky segment like that. Um, some trolls, okay, some trolls arrive at the battle of Coyote versus Damaro. Damaro is losing really hard. Um, Coyote has the upper hand uh, and like Damaro is putting up a pretty good fight, but Coyote's pretty much got him at every turn. Um, Damaro's eye turns on and his hair turns white and he gets super powered. And then these trolls show up and they just shoot cannons at him and stuff. And like they actually like are fucking him up and like gonna, gonna kill him. Um, uh, so he fights back using this, this super eye powers. He has this, okay, he has this beast called the, um, the Dusk Hunter that when the Dusk Hunter is battling, the sky turns red. So the sky has been red in like everywhere for like a, the, the last many, many chapters because of the Dusk Hunter. Later on, Coyote will bring out his guardian. He has a guardian beast. We don't know what its name is, but it's some kind of tree and it turns the sky green. But he ends up being like, I don't even need to use it. And he puts it back away. Uh, he's like just flexing his nuts. Uh, it's like, I, I got one too, but I don't need to use it to beat you. So. These trolls show up and are fucking with a now like white haired powered up tomorrow. One of them is purple and literally sends Sonichu out to oh fat to fight my again. My god. And Sonichu just like Sonichu is just this goofy weirdo. He just like takes a weird shit. <laughs> no, 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 he, no, he finds some shit. No, no, he like, like shits on the ground. He shits on someone. I think one of the other trolls had a beard and it got cut off. And he like shits on the beard and he picks up the shit covered beard and throws it at Damaro and it sticks to Damaro's face. Oh. And now Damaro's got shit and a, and a beard on his face. 
And then Sonichu's like, hey, and the, 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 this, this troll is like, hey, Sonichu, use thunder thighs. And he's like, I've got a cooler technique, the master. He's like, oh, what's that, Sonichu? He's like, it's when I fucking run away and leave you to die. <laughs> he's like, oh, shit, no. So Sonichu does that. He runs away. This, this trainer, this Pokemon trainer ends up getting killed by tomorrow. They all do. Uh, he Demaro powers down and Coyote is like, okay, it's back to normal. He doesn't even remember that any of that happened. Demaro is 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 fucked. Um, so, like Demaro, yeah, Coyote's just got him fucking on the ropes. Uh, Coyote basically wins, although we haven't actually seen the end of the battle. There's a cutaway to um, the neighborhood watch. Wait, hold on. Um, Okay, inside of a troll city, there's like this segment about these trolls that are called the Neighborhood Watch, and they're like pretty. One of them is this monk who's like, you know, being a troll is not good. I'm gonna leave. I know you guys don't understand because you've been trolls all your life, but maybe one day you'll you'll see. So he leaves. He doesn't want to be a troll anymore. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then in the conclusion part two, there's a flashback to the first chapter of the whole thing with like the trolls die and they go to bury them, and they bury them in High Shovel. Um, there's a flash to where Troll King gets Travis the bird. There's this ant, there's this ant whose name is Ant Lion, who it turns out was with them when they buried the trolls, and he like talked into Tails' ear and like told him all the shit about life and death, and like Tails promised to never forget like, you know, the dead or something. And, and, and Ant Lion is just like, uh, we'll see, we'll see, you <laughs> young fox. Um, it tr back to like Cream and Espio and Vector the Alligator who have been dead for a long time. It's a flashback to like before the whole thing went down. They were still alive. Um, Espio is fantasizing about uh, Amy Rose yeah. and Sonic. There's a great line where Espio is like, oh no, he like they have to shit really bad because they ate some bad jerky. And Espio <laughs> is like, oh no, I feel some liquid on my butthole. <laughs> oh thank God, it was just sweat. Um, uh, there's Sonic is going around. It's like a it's like a flashback to like what really happened that day with the trolls died and Sonic figured out that Tails and Shadow had gone and killed the trolls. But it's not done yet. Uh, um but okay. I will but okay. I okay. Tom. First of all, this is the best shonen ever made. Yeah. By far. Yeah. Not even close. Second of all, does this guy have a Twitter? Is he still around? Is he posting? Is this going to be finished? Um he actually there's a Patreon. Um it's got like seventeen dollars a month right now. Oh. Um, yeah, it's criminally underfunded. Patreon.com slash Ben Saint. <laughs> yes! That's, I actually don't remember what the name is, but I, I think it's linked on his DeviantArt. Oh, um, okay, okay. Um, he, I don't know if he's on Twitter. I think mostly he's on DeviantArt. Um, if he's anywhere else, I'm See, not. He's getting a DM tonight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's Laserbot. Why do you want the PCP? Yeah. If you, if you, okay. Because Laz Laserbot gets a lot of Laserbot gets a lot of shit for his shitty web comic. No, no, um, no wait, excuse me. Yeah, you but if greatest comic ever. But if you're like me and you think this is awesome and you would sincerely enjoy seeing more, you know, yeah. pledge to his Patreon or at the very least go on DA on Ultimate Laserbot and just let him know that you appreciate him, that you'd love to see more. Um, that's what I would do. Um, yeah. So un unfortunately, it's not. I wish I could have told you the whole story, but it has not been concluded. Maybe someday it will be. As long as it is concluded, I'm almost kind of happy because I want to be there. I want to be there yeah. when the legend ends. Yeah, I think about now we can, we can watch the, we can watch this like, like you know update by update. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can do the home to ground. We can we can see if it go. if it ever comes back. I mean, ima we have to start <sighs> imagine if he imagine if we started like a weekly show where like each week we review the new uh, uh, like the new like page. The that would be great. Yeah, yeah, the trolley cast. Anyway, hey, so yeah, dude, that's fucking ultimate laser bot. If you're watching, we want you on. Yeah, please, please, God. Yes. Please come, come out of I want to meet Laserbot. Shit. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to the channel, Laserbot. We, we, we legitimately <laughs> like your comic. Oh yeah, we legitimately I've, I've like seen it. A single panel, but I've already sold a hundred percent. Um, I, I, I've seen like half of what he's described. Talk, talk to me. Talk to me on Twitter at it's all so ugly. Tell me if you if you like the lecture and and say hi. Um, you're you're a cool bro, and I like your stuff. Okay, so any any final questions? Um, About tails gets trolled. What do you guys think? What just, do you, it all seems pretty pretty clear. <laughs> yeah, I it's all it's all pretty self-explanatory, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, high shovel. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Class dismissed! Ah!